Hi everyone, this is ETC3 here. We are discussing the exam topics on in biochemistry in 3 minutes. In this video, I am discussing the techniques to detect mutations. The questions that you can get is DNA sequence alterations or the technique to detect mutation or technique to detect point mutation. So, how can we classify it? Mutation detection techniques are classified into technique that's the sequence alterations are detected or point mutation. So, first what we have to do is a PCR. So, after PCR we have we can either do restriction fragment length polymorphism or we can do any sequencing technique like the Sanger sequencing or pyro sequencing. Next set is something which affects the length that is insertion or deletion. So, the various scenarios that you can get is a trinucleotide repeat mutation. For example, Huntington's disease can be asked or any case of gene amplification can be asked or any case of insertion or deletion of a gene like cystic fibrosis can be asked. So, if that is the case, then we have to use a separate techniques or different set of techniques. So, one is we can use a real-time PCR because this is a quantitative PCR where gene dosage can be detected. So, real-time PCR or QF-PCR or QPCR and multiplex ligation probe amplification otherwise MLPA. Then another technique is Amplicon length analysis, it is like PCR and after PCR we are analyzing the length of the amplicon, that is it. So, that is, these are the various techniques to detect the insertion or deletion or something which affects the length of the DNA. Then according to Harrison, there are different set of uh, other techniques that is given here is one is the same as like in the case of Robins, that is what we have just discussed, any D DNA sequencing techniques like the Sangos or Pyro sequencing or even Next generation sequencing is also possible. Then restriction fragment length polymorphism again given in Robins itself. Then southern blotting that is also a technique uh, which is detecting the DNA so that is also possible. Then single strand confirmation polymorphism otherwise SSCP. The DNA ring gradient gel electrophoresis otherwise DGGE and oligonucleotide specific hybridization similar to southern blotting only where we are using an oligonucleotide probe and that that short form is OSH and microarray. Remember this microarray should be DNA microarray because mutation is something which is detecting the DNA. So, DNA microarray is also possible. So, these are the various mutation detection techniques. So, thank you. Stay blessed. Stay happy. Bye-bye and follow for more.